Hello and welcome to Only Stupid Answers. My name is Sam Basher. And I'm DJ Wolverine. And today we're talking about a very special movie, Knives Out, from director and writer Ryan Johnson, starring Don Johnson, Jamie Lee Curtis, Tony Collette, Chris Evans, Daniel Craig, Edie Patterson, Michael Shannon, Catherine Langford. That's who that is. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Plummer, Lakeith Stanfield. So many people. I don't even know if we said all the famous people that you are in this movie. You didn't say Anna Darmus. There's she's a, like the main girl. But sorry. Yeah, excuse yeah. me. <laughs> she is. When renowned crime novelist Harlan Thromby is found dead at his estate, Date just after his 85th birthday, the inquisitive and debonair detective Benoit Blanc mm. is mysteriously enlisted to investigate. From Harlan's dysfunctional family to his devoted staff, Blanc sifts through a web of red herrings and self-serving lies to uncover the truth behind Harlan's untimely death. Mm. A lot of big words in there that I've only read and never said out loud before. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. But, and, and about half of more people's names. <laughs> uh, new word I learned this word today. Yeah. Unctuous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I never use it. That don't need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Already I had to look it up three times and it is ping ponged <laughs> right out of my brain. But this movie nestled right into the center of it and it warms my heart. I was looking forward to this movie, Ryan Johnson. I'll be honest, the only movies, yes, she has opinions about Ryan Johnson yes. films. Uh, that's Winona. Um, but I, so to be fair, I've only seen Last Jedi. I've not seen Brick. I've not seen Looper. And I, even though Looper is like way up my Brothers, alley. Brothers Bloom? Wait, no. You haven't seen any of his movies. No. I highly recommend Brick. All of his movies. I will say this. My association with Ryan Johnson is typically I'm a big fan of the movie up until the end. And, and, <laughs> then, and then he usually throws in like one last curveball that's like, well, wait, what? <laughs> um, but yeah, so you have not going into this. Your Last Jedi is your Ryan Johnson mm-hmm. primer. Yep. And I'm not going to share my opinions until the end of the video on yeah. that. But yes, yeah, so, but that being said, yeah. I love Clue. It's one of my all time favorite yes. films. Because Clue's fantastic. It, it just, it, from every aspect of it, yeah. uh, also, because I got it on VHS when I was a kid at a birthday party with my friend, like down the street. And we got it, and it was like, why would they do a Clue movie? But Tim Curry was on the cover, so yeah. we're like, I, we have to at least check it out because I like him from my head. The first thing that came to mind was, wow, Thornberries. Yeah, Seen yeah. him in more things, <laughs> but that was the first thing that came to my head. So we went and watched it, loved it, and I love the multiple endings, everything about Clue. It's incredible. So going, And it's weird as you get older to find out that it was released with the different... Because we came to it after yeah. where, where it's just all, it's all in there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, so it was released with... Yeah, so it was released with three different endings. Mm. Uh, so depending the on which... thing with Arkham Asylum, the video game, because they had different endings. Did you know? Like, no, the, I didn't know that. After credit scenes where like the serum would pop oh, up Oh yeah, depending harbor. on like how, how things go in the game. But yeah, there was... There was um, depending on which screening you went to, you might get a different one of the endings. That's super cool. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so that's how I watched it. That being said, I love whodunits. Yes. I love a good mystery and I love the irreverence of the trailers that we saw with this. I, yeah. I, I love the, the lighter tone, even though it is a murder. It's, and the, the, the Southern gentlemanly vibe you get from watching this trailer, specifically yes. from Daniel Craig's character. Also, everyone's in it. Yeah. Everybody. Yes. So when you get that many people in it, you either get like a movie 43 or like a Valentine's Day yeah. or you get something like this. So I was very excited. You know, I was going to say that with a cast like this, it'd be hard to bungle a movie, but you you just gave two examples where you could. New Year's Eve. That yeah, one too. Yeah, yeah. Same director as Valentine's Day, same premise. But yeah, so there, it could have been iffy. Also, just other... The aura around other Ryan Johnson movies that I have not seen has always been kind of middle of mm-hmm. the road, usually. So anyways, going to this movie, I just was excited for a good mystery and a good time, and that's exactly what I had. I was really bummed that we weren't able to see this at Fantastic Fest. It was the closing night movie, and I, it got just... It was like 100% across the board from Tiff and from Fantastic Fest. Yeah. I was unbelievably excited to see it and it fully delivered from the performances to the writing to the mystery and how it unfurled and the comedy and I actually felt like genuine stress during times of <laughs> inquiry or, yeah. or just them kind of going through the motions of figuring out the the different layers to this lie and it's I think this might be the house I want to die in like I think I, <laughs> it's this a, it's is a classic murder mystery house there's a yeah. good joke in it where they say like it's literally the house from Clue and it is the house from yeah, Clue yeah. all these like hidden mysteries and wonders when you get to see the movie the architecture of the entire place is just splendid yes but what did you think i liked it a lot i i was a little bit again because i i i love brick a lot i think brick is really great and i love i mostly like his movies you know what i mean I, I, there he makes good movies that have elements that really bug me um and this i think is the perfect this is perfectly in ryan johnson's wheelhouse because there's a point where Daniel Craig's character is trying to describe the mystery. And he's like, it's like a donut. And you just try to find the hole. And I found the hole, the donut hole. 
but the donut hole also has a hole. And that's how that I feel like that's how Ryan Johnson views movies. It's like I can't just have a twist because people expect a twist, so I need a twist on top of the twist. But then once you have that twist, now people think you're done, so you need a third twist uh-huh. to make it. And it's just at a certain point, he's like, calm down, man, calm down. But for this type of movie, that's how these movies function. Like that's the whole purpose of um, it. Makes a lot of nods to Clue, like you said, to Murder She Wrote. Uh, it has it owes a lot to like murder on the Orient express and all those types of things. And they're always some sort of like just a a car crash of different intentions and like what could have possibly been. And so that kind of fits with the way he likes to tell stories. So it, instead of being a frustration, it's a, it's just part of how these types of movies work. Currently it's sitting at 98% on Rotten Tomatoes with a critical consensus of Knives Out sharpens old murder mystery tropes with a keenly assembled suspense outing that makes brilliant use of writer-director Ryan Johnson's stellar ensemble. Yes, and to build off that, I think every single one of these characters is used to all their strengths and also used uh, in ways that I haven't seen them before, specifically Michael Shannon. You get, as soon as he's in the scene, he's, his character is kind of He's a loser. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they're all losers in different in different ways. But him specifically, you're like, oh, you're kind of like a weasel a little yeah. bit, and you, you're, you're a little whiny. But at the same time, there's a scene where he's in the hallway with a character, and the sound design of it is showing him kind of like it feels like a hunt a mm-hmm. little bit, and you're able to get that kind of manic aggressive energy that he usually has in yeah. other roles like in man of steel yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or name any or other role. Empire, like pretty much any michael shannon role because he's got that specific bad guy type but he does for anybody that's like you know worry don't worry he does get a chance to shout because yes, you can't does. have michael shannon and not have him shout are he, you kidding me he shouts in a very specific way also don johnson there's a weird research not weird just a resurgence recently yes. of don johnson with Watchmen. you can check out our reviews on this channel and in this both characters are very similar yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. i think at this point if you guys are like him in in watchmen or in brawl and subwalk 99 you're gonna like him in this yes. and uh he has a lot of really good moments so does chris evans so does jamie lee curtis tony collette's character yeah. she is so versatile i was yes. very bummed that she got very little recognition from the academy for hereditary i know yeah. horror movies usually don't get their due yeah but, but she did tremendous work and i liked how in both movies i liked how chris evans is um utilized in this because it's kind of against type Oh, to be and, fair, he did used to play like the douche. That like, is true. Yeah. But he's been Captain America for so long. You he's forgot. Like, yeah, he's like the. So this is I guess Scott Pilgrim. Let's say or, it's a return to form. It's you. a return to form <laughs> yeah. for him. And I, it was cool seeing Anadarmus because I think the last time I saw her in something was um, in Blade Runner twenty forty nine, and she just kind of plays this like the almost like a mini manic pixie dream girl like the idealized woman that's a computer simulation and all that stuff so this to see her actually play a character is really cool and she did a really good job and it. her her gimmick i'll yeah, say yeah. is perfect for these movies yes. you mean, the, it, this movie is larger than life at the same time very grounded mm-hmm. uh and uh addy p uh Patterson. Judy Patterson. Yeah, yeah. Judy Patterson. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Uh, from the, from what is it? She's in. She, she's in Righteous Gemstones and Vice Principles. Thank yeah, you. Is yeah. where you might know her best and from. She, her comedic chops are amazing. In this, she's playing a toned down role, but as soon as she shows up on screen, I started smiling. Yeah, 100%. It's, it's really hard not to smile throughout this movie, even when things are stressful. Yes. Because it's just enjoyable it yeah. looks like they're all having a really good time daniel craig they even make fun of his accent because he's the last of the gentleman detectives yeah, yeah, yeah. of these sherlock Holmes types that you're able to hire on a whim to come in yeah, how yeah. do you make a living doing what you do because it you're the, matter. it's the same people pay so much for him to just show up and yeah. do his bit his bit and his I, foghorn leghorn bit yeah he, i it is so impressive to see how his accent has evolved from tomb raider no. i know have you seen no one of the worst American accents, but I think he found his niche yeah. with uh, this in his previous film with Adam Driver and Channing Tatum, where yeah, he's playing Soderbergh film, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, where he's playing it with a Southern accent. Yep. He does it. He likes it. And I'm glad he likes it because mm-hmm. they think he does a good job with this uh, exaggerated yes. uh, character. Every part so. of this is exaggerated. It's fun seeing this family, the worst people in the world, all like either working together or working against each other. Every time you see them all on screen together, it's electric and. I and there's something really charming uh, when we like get to see how it all unfolds yeah. for each of the characters. Honestly, I would watch this ten more times in theaters because I enjoyed it so much, and I can't wait to own it at home as yeah, well. Ryan Johnson did an amazing job, and so did the cast. I, I, you know, honestly, like you don't need a sequel to this. But if like a couple years from now he wanted to do like one more Who Done It, 
Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Uh, like, you know, because a lot of these, there's a lot of series built around these gentlemen or gentlewoman detectives. So I wouldn't mind to see Daniel Craig's character pop up on another one. Or maybe you could have a league of gentlemen detectives. You know what I mean? See all the other ones that were around before this. Yeah, they do a good job also. Like do a, we have any of those in our world? I don't. Or is that just a, a com- gentleman detective? Yeah, is that is that completely the world of the Sherlock Holmes fiction world? There's got to be, but they can't be that successful <laughs> because this person, we find out he is very famous. Yeah, yeah. He's, he was like, it was like a Times article, right? A New Yorker. Oh, okay. Yeah, so people yeah. pay attention to him. Yes. So I don't know anybody that does that. No. To be fair, I haven't been keeping up with that. That's true. I have not been keeping up with the gentleman detective community. It's like the bounty hunter community. I like I don't know who's mm-hmm. that. Dog is yeah, the only yeah, one. He's I know. the big one. He's, he's the, the big, big one. one. Yeah, yeah. We don't have a big <laughs> gentleman detective, so we're gonna need to know from you guys. Yes. Who's your favorite gentleman detective in, in, in the real world? And you gotta let us know how to get in contact. I don't. We don't have a mystery, but yeah. maybe we can build one for him. Yeah. Uh, but yes, I, to rate this uh, movie, I think an even uh, out of ten. Yes. Uh, nine out of ten. I, it, it has a ninety-eight percent, like nine point five. Like I really enjoyed this movie yeah. all the way throughout. Like there, there is an itch when watching this movie to try to find something wrong with it because you want the mystery to to make sense by the end of it you want it to all the cracks are sealed up and you want it to make sense fully and i feel like this movie does it but at the same time i enjoy it too much to really care (laughs) yeah for me if if i were to to nitpick some stuff i think um some of the references to other mysteries are a little like other the the stuff it pulls from a little too on the nose like i I, I know what you're pulling from. You don't need to make a joke about it in the movie. Like I know, I know what you're referencing, and it's um, it's uh, surprisingly a big part of this movie plays with racial politics, and all of that is, is a little on the nose. Oh, it's I a actually, little obvious. To, so. uh, to that point, though, I actually thought they did a pretty good job talking about like modern day politics in a way that didn't feel like ham fisted. It felt no. like, oh god, I know this is going to happen in my holiday <laughs> party, and I've heard you can hear yeah. like that coming down the hall. At least for my family, yeah. I know that there's going to be fights like that when we get home but hey <laughs> something to look their forward own. to on thanksgiving oh i can't wait that and this is a movie when that starts happening we'll watch this movie yeah, yeah, so we don't have to deal with that i don't want to talk to anyone get the poison out uh so for me i would give it a b plus so i guess also a nine mm-hmm. would that be in this this 10 situation like that would be a b, a b, b plus. plus if you want to give it a nine go for it yeah. Yeah, no but i would a b plus would also be an a you it, would like, give it an a like a 90 percent is an a yeah, so then there's 8.5. There you go. There you go. Then, but that's a B, so maybe 8.9. I don't know. Yeah, it's 8. a B plus 9. is what I would go. give it. All right, but you know what? I want to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments down below. What are some of your favorite whodunits out there? I would love to watch more. That'd be a fun yes. movie night to do. Also, I'm going to need to see Clue now, and I will be rewatching this. So make sure you get in contact with us at Sam Basher on Twitter. Uh, DJ Talks Trash. And at Only Stupid Answers. Yeah, got the vowels from Stupid. Bing, bang, boom. Go to patreon.com slash Only Stupid Answers to check out Super TV Showdown. It's the show where we watch all the superhero shows. Awesome. And on the lead up to crisis on infinite earth the biggest crossover you've ever imagined also we're doing reviews for watchmen and other movies and tv shows right here on the youtube channel keep an eye out for all of those and until next time gang stay spooky we're recording this on halloween you're not seeing it then though mm-hmm. you're not it's way after that yeah happy halloween <laughs>